Hello everyone, we're back with Minecraft with mods, or modcraft, and I am, I just realized, I remembered something, because I was watching through my other videos, because uh, I don't, I don't remember why, actually, because I was, I forgot sort of what's around this area, <clears throat> so I watched my other videos just to see, remember, refresh myself, and uh, gosh, my mic keeps sliding away, okay, and uh, I remember that there is a skeletal spawner over here, like really close to the surface, which is pretty awesome. I just have to find it. I know it's over here somewhere. It might be over there. Point being, when I find it, we can make a trap out of it, an XP trap, and we can start enchanting items. But first, I need to find it. And it seems to like to hide from me. It was right over here. Oh! You don't hide from me, do you? Okay, now we have a creeper hole. Um. Okay, you know, I'll be back. I'll be right back when I find it all. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Okay, 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 okay. Hello. Here it is. I. I've relocated it. Here's our skeleton spawner. And, uh, now back to the. Oh! I never actually got this. Back to the episode. We're gonna. I guess you can call it a tutorial, sort of. But it's not super. It's not a lot like a tutorial. But we're gonna basically make this into a mob trap now I'm gonna lead you through probably the most efficient way to do these and you're gonna have to follow step by step and how it's gonna work just I'll explain it while I get this how it's gonna work is basically they're gonna spawn and then there will be currents below them pushing them towards a certain section on a wall and that section on the wall will drop one and have another current that okay so this will push them here and then this will push them here and right here there will be a mob evader up like I think 23 I don't know I'll have to look it up but like 23 something blocks and basically when they're up that high there will be another current that will push them and they will fall to their doom but they won't die they're gonna what's gonna happen is they're gonna have like half a heart left so I can punch them and kill them for experience and so basically what you need to start with is an 8x8 room and I'm gonna continue to get this cobblestone and I'll be right back when it's hello here it is I I've relocated it here's our skeleton spawner and uh... now back to the... oh I never actually got this. Back to the episode. We're gonna. I guess you can call it a tutorial, sort of. But it's not super. It's not a lot like a tutorial. But we're gonna basically make this into a mob trap. Now, I'm gonna lead you through probably the most efficient way to do these. And you're gonna have to follow step by step. And how it's gonna work, just I'll explain it while I get this. How it's gonna work is basically they're gonna spawn, and then there will be currents below them pushing them towards a certain section on a wall. And that section on the wall will drop one and have another current that, okay, so this will push them here, and then this will push them here. And right here, there will be a mob evader up like I think 23 I don't know I'll have to look it up but like 23 something blocks and basically when they're up that high there will be another current that'll push them and they will fall to their doom but they won't die they're gonna what's gonna happen is they're gonna have like half a heart left so I can punch them and kill them for experience and so basically what you need to start with is an 8x8 room 
and I'm gonna continue to get this cobblestone and I'll be right back when it's okay we're back and I have uh, hollowed out this oh, whatever that'll be our escape route <clears throat> we'll hollowed out this up uh, EP8 room basically all you really have to do is uh, get rid of two of the cobblestone walls and uh, just just count to make sure and uh, but since this is an AV8 room water travels eight blocks so it'll end right there and it won't go anymore see so what we actually need to do and this is why I just sort of got back on we need a eight by nine room so we need to dig this wall out so then I I don't know I I, I won't skip this part just because it's like I'll talk because it's like well okay now Again, if you're doing this near the surface, or actually not again, I haven't said this once, but, but if you're doing this near the surface, it'll be a little bit trickier. It, well, I guess it depends. But for me, it's a little trickier because it's next to sand. So, that's just a thing. I don't know. It'll it'll probably get buggy because it's next to sand and water. Not buggy, but uh. So then what we do, we're going to dig down here. And... <clears throat> put one over there and as you can see they sort of like mesh together this is my unlimited water source but they sort of like mesh together but that's fine nothing's gonna be like affected by that so and I need more water uh oh oh it still works cool uh yeah okay there we go now we have that done we need to clog that off a block update stat there we go. Now that we have that done, it is floating one block above it. So when they spawn, they'll be pushed over here, and they'll be pushed over here. Right here. Now, what we need them to do from here is we want them to start jumping, pretty much. And we also need them to go here, so that's another problem. We need another bucket. You could drop it one, and put another bucket there. Now we're gonna have to have them do that. And from here, we need a lot of signs. And see here, they can't get back up. Uh, I forgot about that, so it's gonna be hard. Okay. All right. So from there, we're gonna need a lot of signs. And I'm gonna dig out a little hole here for work and versus purposes. Alright, be right back when I get some signs and I'll show you what we do next. Alright, we're back. I have some thingies. And, well, we're gonna need more than these, but I'm gonna go and get the rest of them. <clears throat> but, uh, basically what we're gonna do here is a mob evader. If you don't know what that is, I'm about to show you. Put a sign. And we're gonna have to put a sign there too, so we're gonna have to do more signs and put a block or water. Then, put a sign and fill in the area around you like this area it's a good place for the spawner to be but the things around it at least for me are really bad so whatever but I put another thing and put a sign and I put a few spaces on that but it doesn't matter really break the block above you put water that's pretty much it but what they do when they're in water mobs constantly jump so <clears throat> if they're in this water it will be jumping, and then when they get in water, they'll jump again. They get in water, they jump again, and then they will continuously jump until they get to the top where we want them to be. So, that's how that works. <coughs> and I turned the brightness all the way up because it's going to be dark in that mob later. But, uh, yeah. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about my coughing. Actually, you know what? I need to do something real quick. We need to get to the top of that. There we go, that's the top. And it's nighttime, but this, this doesn't matter. I just needed to get to the top of it. So I can go outside, and I'll get to the top. And uh, this is my little work area. If you're wondering, like I said, I was going to make a work area. Okay, I could reach down and get my water. But anyway, we're now I'm going to be back real quick, and I'll get I'll have a lot more signs. And we can continue on the mob evader, and I'll explain a few more things. 